Oh, hello everyone and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Elvis. I'm a graphic designer, web designer and, and also a content creator. And uh, uh, this video is actually an introduction into web design. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about uh, web design and specifically we're going to be talking about web design in terms of creating websites using a content management system by the name of WordPress. Uh, WordPress is actually one of the best uh, content management systems out there that is used in creation of websites. And as uh, what you're looking at at the moment is the backend of a website that we created for a client uh, using WordPress. Uh, the name of the website is Kremu Engineering Limited. It's a construction company in Kenya. And uh, the website itself uh, basically does a, is actually uh, modeled and crafted using uh, WordPress. And uh, what I'm going to be doing in this video is giving you a simple introduction into creation of websites using WordPress. Now, WordPress actually works in two, with two main fun functions. Yeah? We have the theme that gives the appearance and the plugins that give extra functionality and functionality in general. Now, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to open up the site so that you can see how it looks like uh, on the front end. So this is what clients are going to see, uh, minus this part that you see over here. This is only because that we've, uh, we are currently logged in into the website as uh, as administrators as you can see over here this is a very simple website it's been created using uh, purely on wordpress and no coding has actually been done on the website so up at the top over here we have the logo this is the main header as from this part to this part this is a header and uh, we have the home we have the home page we have the about us page and a few sub pages over here then we have the our services page with all the various services that the company has and an embedded company profile over here and then a contact us page over here and then a search button over here that can be used now all these parts that you can see over here are widgets and sections that we have on the website and uh, it's something that is very good it's the website actually is totally responsive so if you viewed the website on um, on, on mobile you're going to see that it's very responsive eh? and as you can see it changes design in any mode that you select now uh, if you scroll down over here you're going to find that the website actually has paragraph it's uh, sorry it has headings uh, paragraphs it has images it has things we call image boxes this is an image box because it has an image a heading and some description over here and then an, ad an added button over here uh, and if you move down over here you're going to find that the website actually has a footer and the footer has a contact form and it also has contact information on the company then on the right hand side over here you can see we have a whatsapp button and when someone clicks onto this button it takes you directly to the whatsapp uh the what the registered whatsapp number that the client submitted for the for creation of the website now uh if i go back to my Word, wordpress dashboard you're going to find a few things this is a dashboard uh, that manages each and everything about the website and uh, if you just come over here, Google Site Kit is a plugin actually. So what I'm going to do is first introduce you to themes. Eh? That is the appearance. Eh? There is the appearance and the themes. So a theme actually should, uh, actually gives uh, the website, uh, maybe gives your website an appearance. So like a brief example is like, let me just click on add a new theme. And you can see that there are quite a number of themes that are used uh, in the creation of websites using WordPress. Very many themes actually. But the most common one is Ocean WP. We have Astra, we have Cadence, and we have Nive. These are the themes that I will tell you that I've used personally, and they are very good. Now, when it comes to creation of word, uh, websites using uh, WordPress, you have to select a theme. It can be such a theme that is in the WordPress repository, or you can purchase a theme from a, a website by the name of themeforest.net. And uh, once you purchase a theme from this website, you can actually use that theme for your website. Uh, but normally you're going to find that most of the themes that we have over here can deliver each and everything that you want for a website. The next part is plugins. Eh? Plugins, if I click on plugins, plugins allow you to do things on your website. Like an, an example, we could have page builders. And a page builder is basically something, is a plugin that allows you to create your website easily using drag and drop features. Currently, the plugin that I use a lot when it comes to uh, creating my websites is Elementor. And Elementor is a very good and versatile tool that comes uh, that is very good when creating websites using WordPress. And uh, again, we can see, as you can see, we have a plugin by the name of Embed Press that allows you to embed uh, PDFs uh, or documents or PowerPoint presentations on your website. We have Essentials uh, add-ons for Elementor. Then we have the, the Google Fonts plugin over here. We have a Forms plugin by the name of Forminator. We have JoinChat that allows you to add uh, maybe like 
uh, a WhatsApp function onto your website. We have a minimal coming soon and maintenance mode uh, plugin that allows you to maybe you're doing some maintenance of the website. It now opens up like a page uh, just just to show that you're maintaining or maybe remodeling your website. We have a Notion Extra plugin that comes in with a theme. Then we have SiteKit by Google for search engine optimization and registering your website with Google and quite a number of plugins actually. And th that's the main importance of them. Now, what I'm going to be showing you is how you actually uh, edit your website. And uh, we, edit mo we edit the website mostly using Elementor, which is a very good page builder uh, that, that uh, is used in the creation of websites. Now, one thing about Elementor is that it comes in the premium option and the free option. But with the free option, you get quite a number of tools. Uh, you, you need to pay some amount of money if you want to get uh, the premium version of uh, the plugin itself. So assuming I wanted to uh, do some edits over here, I'll just select these and just maybe do my thing. And uh, it's very easy to do that. You can actually even adjust the text. And as you can see, we have your text over here. You can actually add images. And as you can see, you have all the functionality on your hands. Huh? And then next, you can see you have each and everything that is on the website is editable using using element. Sorry. And uh, this is basically the power of Elementor. You can actually adjust the colors of maybe the site itself. You can change to a different color that you want. And these are all things that are made possible using Elementor. Now, once you're done, you just need to click on update and publish your changes. Now, I'm not going to dive so deep into this, but it's important for you to understand that it's a whole new, it's a whole thing that you need to learn. But uh, if you're interested in learning how to, um, if you're interested in maybe getting into web design itself, uh, and getting started in creation of websites. You can enroll to my online course. I have an online course. You just come need to open my website. You can come and click on my web design course and it's going to open up for open it up to you. But uh, for first, you need to sign up. You're going to use your email and create a username. And the course is actually uh, an ongoing course. We have quite a number of students on the same. And it's actually everything you would need to understand on how to use Elementor. And as you can see, the content is well laid out. You get each each and every you you get to understand each and every step of creating a website uh, using WordPress. So this is my course. If you're interested, you can actually enroll. And uh, maybe if you have queries, you just need to click on this WhatsApp chat button over here, and it's going to take you directly to my WhatsApp, and we can communicate and come to an agreement. All in all, that's a brief introduction into web design using something we call uh, that that is using. Um, WordPress, which is a content management system. Now, if you have any question or if you have any comment or any query, you can leave it in the comment section and I'll be very sure to reply to your comments and your queries in time. If this information is uh, relevant for you and such videos are something that you'd like to see more and more, please consider subscribing to my channel and I'll appreciate that. Thank you so much and have a great day ahead.